text flip animations. Let's get into it. So I am here in my Premiere, where I prepared three times two seconds worth of titles. I will do two different types of flip animations. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to where my two first titles meet over here. And I will go over to my project, right click, new item and create an adjustment layer. I just hit OK and drag this on top of our title. Next up, I'm going to go 10 frames to the left from where our two titles meet. I do it by holding down shift, pressing the left arrow key, one, two, and I will drag the adjustment layer out just like so. Next up, I will go back to the middle again where our clips meet. I do it by holding down shift and pressing the arrow down key. And then 10 frames to the right by holding down shift and the right arrow key. One, two. And I will just fit the adjustment layer like so. Very nice. Next up, I'm going to go over here to my effects and search for an effect called Basic 3D. And just apply that to the adjustment layer. Up here in my effects controls, I am going to animate the swivel. That is the vertical flip, as you can see. So what I will do is I will go to the start of our adjustment layer like so. Enable keyframes on swivel. Go to the middle. I want to put this tilt here to 90. Because that means it is completely horizontal. And we actually can see it as you can see here. And then at the end of our adjustment layer, we'll put it at 180 degrees. But we get a problem here. Because I like to do the half flip that's more smooth. But the problem with this is when we go over into a new clip, the title would be upside down and when the adjustment layer ends, it will flip back over and that doesn't look nice. So I go to where our clips meet, go just one frame to the left, like so, and I put a keyframe just by pressing here, because then we know that right before it switches into our second title, it is this degrees we want to be on for our first title. And then I'm going to go over to our third keyframe here, change it from 90 to negative 90. And we'll go to our last keyframe and just change it to zero. So now we have this animation going on. And that's already a lot better, but I think we can make it more smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and click on this arrow button to open up the keyframes panel. And this first keyframe I will click on and then right click and then ease out. The last one I will click on, right click, and then ease in. I'll just pull these handles as much as I can so we get like a speedy ramp. Do the same thing for the one at the end. Really just give it full gas here. So we have this animation now. That looks pretty smooth. One thing you gotta be careful with here is if you pull this one a little bit too much up, you might get it to flip over and actually flip a little bit too much over. As you can see, we get some positive values. So just make sure that you always have the same type of values. Just something like this. Yeah, I like that. Next up, I'm going to search for an effect called directional blur. Just to make the transition a little bit more smooth, a little bit more subtle. I will apply that to our adjustment layer like so. Very nice. And as a standard, the direction of the directional blur is vertical, as you can see. So we don't have to change the direction. I will go to the start of our adjustment layer, enable keyframe and blur length, go to where our titles meet, change the blur length to 15 and go to our last keyframe and change it back to zero. And again here, I will open our keyframes. This one we put to ease out and the last one is in and this one we put to base here and I'm just gonna make this also speed ramp something like that all right I like that and let's just refit our adjustment layer next up let me show you how to do the horizontal one so I'll just copy our adjustment layer over here just disable the blur what we want to do instead of keyframing the tilt, let's just reset this. We want to keyframe the swivel because it is the horizontal direction, as you can see. So it is the exact same process. Go to the start of your adjustment layer, enable a keyframe, go to the middle, put this to 90, put this to the end, 180. You could skip these steps, but this is a nice way to just keep track of what you're doing. So now we have this animation. 
And again, I will play a little bit around with the keyframes. Ease out. I will go a little bit faster this time around. But yeah, because I think you got the point before, right? Sweet. Now we have this animation going on. Let's just enable the blur again. But the blur is vertical. And the way we fix that is just by changing the direction from 0 to 90. Boom. And the effect is done. But what if you had a video underneath? I'm just quickly going to go over here and create a color mat. Just a simulator video. Let's actually make it another color than black because it's already the background. Let's make it red, even though it's ugly. But this is just to show a little trick. So if you have a video underneath, the adjustment layer will also do the animation on the video. And we can't have that because this will just look goofy in a video, right? But to get around this, this issue that you're seeing here, you just select your titles and your adjustment layers like so. Right click, nest, and hit OK. And now the adjustment layer is only applied to the title. Take a look. Damn, that is a sweet text transition. But anyways, that was all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Take care guys, see you Monday. Bye bye.